for the deserve community it is becoming a tool for reservation for the rich community you know so uh, the, the it's, it's 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 not a need is not for the meritorious students need is a reservation for the rich community a laborer a farmer a poor wager or a daily wagers who or, or not i'm not talking about those i'm talking about those who are earning 40 50000 per month also they are kid if they get 650 out of 720 that is around 90% marks they won't get to become a doctor you have to understand this this is total capitalism you know they are the dalits the backward community the lower strata they 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 have a dream that this the son the daughter they can become a doctor and the whole generation can you know change but that has been gone with the need i am telling is horrible if you go to any private medical colleges i was working in jaipur national university that's also a private medical college a student they used to come with ferrari and you know mercedes and bmw go for the race it's not it has to be equal and how it will be equal it has to be you have to bring them to the your level and then you fight and if they if they if they fight and they get uh, you know uh, seats you you put the neat you know you bring the one uh, one big umbrella neat and that we have one nation one uh, exam and with that back door you are bringing again rich people only so now the the tamil nadu they used to be those who students who used to be study from the government colleges they used to get reservation i think i'm sure i'm right they used to get reservation in higher studies that's a good thing if you study from the you know government school and who who goes to government school now now everybody who has money they go to private school first time the elite class have felt the burn but i am telling you 70% of indian population felt the same pain every day how we will know that which college is good how to put it and that's the first child who is has given need that's the first child who is going to become a doctor how he will fill those colleges how he will attend the counseling we we have to think what what kind of society we are uh, you know creating with this need so that's why i i i, I tell that need has to go in toto no 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 that government has come up with the idea just okay give some suggestion and we will improve no we don't want any improvement we want we just sir said that uh, i am confronting with yogi ji and modi ji and that is not right okay uh, i don't i don't i i fight for the justice of children dalit muslims all of them belong to poor socio economic status all were from poor family that they can't go to court they can't go to you know uh, anywhere they lost their child a mother i believe i believe i believe for a mother Uh, you know uh, for a mother a child is like a their part as you cut your finger na you have a pain that much pain mother can feel manich day manich day because uh, i'm sorry because i'm late uh, it's manich day isn't it uh, so i'm really sorry i'm late uh, and i missed a few speeches before i start my speech uh, i want to clarify a few things that uh, already uh, eminent speakers are there and they uh, they have talked and, and they will talk about the policies how to implement neat and uh, those nitty gritties uh, uh, for me i will speak as a doctor and what i have realized how the neat is changing the not only the higher education system and the consequences how the need is affecting the society the strata i will talk about that 
I'll talk about how my, I am an associate professor, I teach MBBS students. So I'll talk about uh, how the MBBS students take this need and how they are going to be in future with this, uh, what I call a rat race, uh, you know. So I won't go with that, I just want to clarify, I won't go with this, uh, uh, this nitty gritty of this uh, need policy and implementation. Uh, if I have got this book, maybe I would have read and uh, maybe I would have spoken better. Uh, so my statement will start with one line quote and I will finish when I will speak my speech with that quote itself. I believe, I believe that need is a tool to abolish reservation. That is my stand since need has been introduced and now as need is crossing five six years it has becoming not only the tool to abolish reservation for the deserved community it is becoming a tool for reservation for the rich community you know so uh, the, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not, a, need is not for the meritorious students. Need is a reservation for the rich community. Now come to uh, why I'm saying that. As Sir said that rich people can buy, you know, seats and there was a student who got six marks and then she was 513 and all. Uh, you know, NEET, there are 720 marks for the NEET UG. And as Sir says, percentile, 50th percentile means 13 lakh people out of 20 lakh last time who participated, they were eligible to get the seat. Just imagine that you don't know anything about biology, physics, math, and you have, you are not a good student and your ninth and high school and first year and twelfth, you have not studied at all. You are a rich brat and uh, you come from, you know, a well-off family who doesn't care, who thinks that, uh, okay, I have money, why my kid uh, should study? Uh, you go, uh, fill the form, you go and they have, will have multiple choice question A, B, C, D. Just close your eyes. Fill B, 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 200 question, you fill just B. You don't have to do anything. You just fill B. Yes, even after negative, sir, they will get, they will get, if they get 100 marks, if they get 110 marks out of 720, in, if I, my father can afford, uh, afford 1 crore rupees, 20 lakh, and that also not 1 crore in sum. 20, 25 lakhs per year, and every medical, private medical institute have a bank at the counseling center. They're sitting and they're giving you loan also. So uh, you just have to mark your, uh, you know. So if you get 110, 112, 120, you can become a doctor, a laborer, a farmer, a poor wager, or a daily wagers, who, who are, are not, I'm not talking about those, I'm talking about those who are earning 40, 50,000 per month also. Their kid, if they get 650 out of 720, that is around 90 percent marks, they won't get to become a doctor. You have to understand this. This is total capitalism. You have to understand this. And that's why I'm saying that's the way they are removing reservation. Who are the people who wants to go to and, you know, uh, they try hard to get government college? Who are these people? You know, they are the Dalits, the backward community, the lower strata. They, 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 they have a dream that the this, this son, the daughter, they can become a doctor and the whole generation can, you know, change. But that has been gone with the need. 
I'm telling you, it's horrible. If you go to any private medical colleges, I was working in Jaipur National University. That's also a private medical college. A student, they used to come with Ferrari and you know Mercedes and BMW. So it has become a tool to abolish reservation. A student who got seven marks, seven marks, you know, seven, not even 110. Last time they removed, I'm talking about need PG. In post-graduation, they have, they, in UG they have at least lower percentile, you know, some 100 marks. But in PG there is zero percentile last year they did. And a student who got seven marks out of 600, he got MD radiology, MD radiology seat for 11 crore. His father has a business, you know, four or five MRI CT scan in Jaipur itself. So anyhow, he's not going to see patient. He's going to run that uh, center. So it's a business. Now I have, uh, I think I have tried to explain you how it's is abolishing reservation and how is becoming a tool to for the rich people to come to take this reservation from the deserved uh, community. Uh, when I was uh, doing MBBS and uh, we have uh, community medicine and my teacher used to tell that uh, we talk about competing with US, UK, um, Canada, the, all the developed countries and uh, but why we uh, do we will compete only with making big big uh, infrastructure highways and big uh, you know malls and roads and uh, electricity and uh, you know um, good uh, uh, what do you say smart cities can we develop only with that uh, she used to my teacher used to say that imagine a girl who is just 15, 16 year old, she get married and she delivered a baby of 2.5 kg. In, norm, in India, if a baby delivered and a baby birth weight is 2.5 kg, is considered as a normal birth weight. And we are happy, we are very happy with the 2.5 kg birth weight. And the head circumference, if it's 33 to 35 centimeter, we say it's a normal baby. In US, if it's less than 3.5 kg, we, they say it's a low birth weight. In US, it's, if it's less than 40 centimeter, head circumference, that is a brain size, we say it's, it's not a good baby. So, if the baby is small, it's 2.5 kg, and the brain is small from the beginning, how you are going to compete with someone who already had brain of 40 centimeter, who is already taller than you, he's already uh, has bigger weight. I'm not uh, saying that you can't compete, but you have to then work hard. Like uh, it's between like a tortoise and rabbit uh, race. Now coming to that, why this is happening? So she is to explain that, uh, okay, uh, South India is totally different. I will come to that, how the health sector of South India and North India, where I practice, uh, you know, um, what I have seen in North India where a female usually, uh, like 15, 16, 20, 18, they get married and they'll have five, six kids. And you know, she's already 45 kg, uh, hemoglobin is less. She will have a baby in her womb, what we call as a pediatrician, uh, in a hostile environment, a toxic environment for the baby who's growing, already living in a toxic environment. So when the baby is growing in the toxic environment, it's becoming, becoming smaller. So when the, that baby is delivered, and if it's a female baby, it's already small. And by the time she will become 15, 16 years, she will again get married off. And again, the cycle goes on and on and on. So if you have to really compete with the UK, US, or any developed country, who you want to care, take care of? The journey. You have to take care of the female. 
who is going to give you the youngster, who is going to give you someone who is going to take care of the country. So if you are not taking care of that female of your country, how your, going, your country is going to progress? You know, in India, we rank 158 out of 160 country in, in a state where a female have a access to health care. Means if a female wants to go to the hospital and get a care, we, India rank 158 out of 160 country. Sikkim, I have worked uh, I, almost uh, all part of India. Sikkim was the only country, uh, state where uh, once the baby is delivered, the parents will ask, or the father or the grandmother will ask whether it is mother, how is the mother. I have worked in Tamil Nadu also. I am, t I am telling on your face, first thing will, they will ask, Anna, Penna, Lalaka, boy or girl. First thing they will ask. They won't ask whether the, how is the mother, whether mother is in the pain, mother is died in the uh, labor room, mother is uh, something happening in the labor room. An upon, when you say it's a boy, they will touch the feet of the boy and there will be celebration. Once you say girl, even the grandmother, she will run away. She won't touch the baby. That's the truth. And, and, and it's worse in Rajasthan, it's worse in Rajasthan, it's worse in North India. Anyhow, what I am trying to tell you, the same thing is with the need. I belong to upper middle class. I will tell you, I have done my MBBS MD from KMC Manipal. That is a private institute and it's a, one of the best institute in the India. When I was doing 10 plus 2 and preparing for the medical interest, uh, my room had an AC and I had a good uh, coaching institute and a teacher used to come to my house and teach and I, I got 30 rank all over India. And I'm proud of that. But I'll t I can't compare myself to my colleague who, who has to get up at 5, 4, 5 o'clock, go get uh, something for the, you know, if and some animal, cow, buffalo is there, some to, to get for that, clean the house, and it's hot, he can't come go to the coaching institute, he can't, you know, um, take some uh, uh, rest, he has to, there is no electricity, he has to work, he has to take care of the, uh, her uh, family. How I can compare to those children? I can't. So that's why the reservation is. That's why the reservation has to be, because they, are, they don't have facility. See, I, I, I finished my um, uh, 10 plus 2 in 98, but I got admission in 2000. I wasted two years. Um, I, when I, got, uh, I, I lost my two years, I used to criticize this. Why this reservation? Why this reservation? Because of that, I lost my two years. But uh, now, when I reached to the medical college, and now when I see the pa patients, when I, now I see the colleagues, the juniors, the students, now I realize how much this is, reservation is important. How can, uh, how can somebody, uh, somebody is already, somebody is already here and somebody is there, how can you uh, go for the race? It's not, it has to be equal. And how it will be equal? It has to be, you have to bring them to the, your level and then you fight. And if they, if, they, if they fight and they get, uh, you know, uh, seeds, you, you put the neat, you know. You bring the one, uh, one big umbrella neat and that we have one nation, one uh, exam. And with that back door, you are bringing again rich people only. Only rich people are getting these seats. I told you, even if you just go and mark B, 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 you will, get, you will be become a doctor. So, when the, my teacher used to ask, who, if you, your country wants to progress, who you want to take care of? Female, Janani. The same way, if you want your country to progress, you have to take care of the last person. You have to take care of the people who, who are really Indian, like you who are, the every, everybody's our uh, responsibility. Every citizen, whether it's, 
is working in the field, whether he's working in the road, every Indian has, should have equal opportunity. That is equality we are fighting for. So, now come to uh, the Tamil Nadu, the system, uh, the, as such said that uh, the Vidyan system has been so robust in Tamil Nadu. And I have realized uh, in last one year when I stayed in uh, uh, Thrivalur, one place is there, Indra Medical, I was working. I realized that how, uh, they, why they have abolished this competition and why they have tried to, you uh, know, develop the Janini to care, take care of the Janini. Who is the Janini now? The Janini is your primary schools where the students are coming up. The Janini is your 10th, the high school and inter where you can groom your children to fight, to go, go and become a doctor. So now the, the, the Tamil Nadu, they used to be those who students who used to be study from the government colleges, they used to get reservation. I think I'm sure, I'm right. They used to get reservation in higher studies. That's a good thing. If you study from the, you know, government school, and who, who goes to government school? Now, now everybody who has money, they go to private school. So those who are going to the government school, they need push. And we are giving push. I mean, I was in, working in the Indra Medical, even though need has come, those students who used to get seat from uh, government quota, the Tamil Nadu government is reimbursing their whole fees. Even though they are uh, studying in private college, and just remind me when I have to finish, oh. because I, I talk a lot. Mm. Mm. Uh. So uh, the, in Tamil Nadu, government is spending 20, 20 lakh rupees to those students. They're reimbursing the fees. That's a good model. That's the way you can uplift your country, uplift your people. So I think, I think a, a need has to be abolished in total. It can't be there. Let the state government decide how they're going. And, and, and education and health should be the, should be, I, I, I believe that education in and health should be a state subject. Let the state government decide and, and, and there is no such better model what we have seen, the discrepancy, the, the diversity between the South India and North India health infrastructure. The, uh, in UP, the infant maternity rate, rate is 46. That means every 1,000 babies born, 46 will die. But if you go to Kerala, that is 6. Only six baby will die. So even though we are living in the same country, two ends, there's so much discrepancy. You know, so how how will the primary health center, which is the backbone of any health center of the society, it's in shamble. It's it's work like a white elephant in North India. You go you go to. Uh, if you have any emergency in the night, uh, somebody is going to deliver some, uh, you know, snake has bitten, somebody has fall, some baby has severe abdominal pain, somebody has high grade fever, where they will go? They will go to primary health center. At, after 2 o'clock, nobody is there. Then they refer it to district hospital. District hospital will refer it to you to the medical college. That is 100 kilometer far. I have seen in... I have uh, I have worked 12 years in Karnataka, and their taluk level, the primary health center is so robust that they treat primary uh, diseases, and then they refer to the higher center. The same thing is with Kerala. The same thing is with Tamil Nadu. So you have to strengthen the primary health center. If you remember your Corona tsunami 2021, you know. For the first time in Indian history, the allied class which thinks that a health is a community, whenever I feel um, no, sick, I can go to Medanta, I can go to Fortis, I can go to any hospi big hospital, throw money, I can get good doctors, best medicine, best uh, facilities. But they also have to struggle, they have to cry, they have to cry for the bed, they have to cry for the medicine, and they have to cry for the 
you know, for oxygen. And they died. Even the metro city, I'm talking about Chennai, I'm talking about Kolkata, I'm talking about Delhi, I'm talking about Mumbai, I'm talking about Bangalore. For the first time in Indian history, 75 years, first time the elite class have felt the burn. But I'm telling you, 70% of Indian population felt the same pain every day. Every day they die, every day they struggle for oxygen, every day. Anyway, I'm, I'm deviating from the topic. So, uh, what I am trying to tell you, so if you have to you know, develop your country, your country should progress, and you have to take care of the last man, every person, you have to take care of this last man by giving them opportunity. There are, uh, and um, I, uh, one more thing I want to add that need uh, counseling is so complicated, you know, if the person who has got, uh, any, anybody is there who has given need or going to, okay, you have given need and you have uh, uh, attended the counseling. Okay, the counseling, you, you know about the counseling? The counseling is like that even if you get uh, good marks, you have to choose the colleges you want. And choosing the colleges, you have, you can fill 100 colleges, but you have to give priority. I want one first uh, college, this second college, this third college, this. So if a if a if a farmer who's like you know who doesn't know uh, to read and write, how he will know that which college is good, how to put it, and th that's the first child who is has given need. That's the first child who is going to become a doctor. How he will fill those colleges? How he will attend the counselling? So. He doesn't know he will put random colleges, just imagine uh, he put Madras Medical College and he has got 600 marks and he has put Madras Medical College. Madras Medical College will finish at 680. He won't get any seat, even though he has got 600 marks. And the person who knows, who, whose parents are educated, who knows how to do the counselling, he has got 590 seat and he has filled at uh, Ramchandra Medical College. He will get the seat. He, he will get the seat, Ramchandra Medical College, and the person who has got 600 mark, he won't get any seat. He won't become a doctor.
bank is 13 lakh and and this is not obc this is not scheduled cost this is not scheduled this is from ews quota and the marks are uh, 146 13 lakh rank and he's got the seat um, some are from andhra pradesh pondicherry a uh, lot of case, uh, colleges are there in pondicherry also a small place eight medical college <laughs> um, yeah, nine okay fine so so this is also happening one more thing we have to uh, as sir said uh, said in his uh, speech that lot of people going out because in india when you take a private medical college like if you go to ramchandra you have to cough up like a 1.2 crore rupees to be, uh, uh, become a doctor in uh, ukraine philippines uh, you know go to these countries you have to do, you, you can do MBBS only for 35, 40 lakh rupees. So, why, so no, you can't afford 1.2. A lot of people are going outside. And we see, we think like, okay, some, peop, some uh, percent of uh, students are going outside. No, the number is huge. In 2019, batch MBBS who has done uh, finished their MBBS in 2019, there are 66,000 uh, medical graduates who uh, are finished their MBBS in 2023. And how many wrote FMG, the foreign medical graduate test, how many? 63,000. So it's like almost same amount of students who are going outside and becoming a doctor are coming to this. And I'll tell you, those who go outside, there is no clinical exposure at all. They, they have a building and they teach like a, they're teaching, you know, uh, uh, not a doctors, like a, they're just taking class. There is no clinical exposure. There is no patient at all. The, if you go to Ukraine, if you go to Philippines, you go to any other country, Russia, they won't allow you to touch their patient. You just go read and come back. And just imagine how we are producing doctors. I, 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 I'm, I, I feel ashamed to my community that, that we have seen doctors who have practicing, they don't even know how to put IVL in, they don't even know how to treat normal illness. They just give you know, antibiotics, some drugs, some drugs combination, and they treat. I, I, I am not ashamed to say that my community, that you know, no, the water has become dirty. There are uh, uh, dirty fishes are there. So when you spend 1.2 crore, how are you going to recover that money? You know, there, there, if you write investigation, you get 50% cut. If you write one ultrasound, it's first 500 rupees, 250 rupees come to me. If I write a, a CT scan, 1800 rupees, 800 rupees come to me. If I write MRI, I get 2000 rupees. Why should not I write more MRIs, more CT scan, even though I know that one CT scan is like a 100 X-rays and can cause carcinomas, cancer. So what type of society? This is the time I want to tell you the how is neat is affecting the society. One way is giving opportunity to the rich people to become, take this reservation given to the deserved community who should take. And the other way, they are producing doctors which are going to take care of our health, our children, our babies. How they will teach? You will meet uh, you know, thousands of doctors who can't even re read ECG. They, they, for them, it will be like a wave only. I'm not joking. So we, we have to think what, what kind of society we are uh, you know, creating with this need. So that's why I, 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 I tell that need has to go in toto. No, no, no. That government has come up with the idea, just okay, give some suggestion and we will improve. No, we don't want any improvement. We want, we just, we don't. We don't want NEET at all. We don't want you to conduct a, a test in uh, Chennai or in uh, Rajasthan at all. Let uh, every state decide uh, their way. 
uh, I think um, uh, whatever I have written, I have finished. Uh, and I saw first <laughs> half an hour. So I will repeat one more thing. Uh, NEET is a tool to abolish reservation. And as years passing is becoming a tool for rich people to take away reservation for you know for the people that who should deserve that reservation need is not for the merit it has become a big corruption and is going uh, giving uh, uh, you know not only for the society for the people anyway thank you thank you everyone and thank you uh, voice for tamil nadu for giving me opportunity to come back to uh, tamil nadu because i love uh, I, when I was, I was here for one year, uh, in between, uh, because uh, there was so much um, uh, bon homie between me and UP government was going on. Um, uh, we love each other, me and Yogi ji. Uh, uh, I'm not joking. Uh, uh, we, we are from same uh, city, Gorakhpur, and, uh, so, and um, our house is just five, six kilometers. So we are friends. Uh, um, so. Uh, you know, I'll tell you one, uh, one, I, I'll just finish, sir. I, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just tell you one uh, uh, example, uh, how much we love each other. Uh, one Jawan movie came, and uh, that Jawan movie, I wrote one book. See, I have become a good marketer. You know? <laughs> so this way, I will, uh, you know, I'll tell you about the book uh, also. So uh, when I wrote this book, you know, I wrote in 2021 uh, when I came out of the prison uh, after 500 days. Anyway, uh, so uh, so people uh, they told me to not to talk, not to talk. You can't fight the government. Governments are very big, uh, you know. Raja se aap lar nahi sakte and all those things. So I said, okay, fine, I won't speak, but I will write, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Even I die, and even a hundred years pass. This, this is a document. Uh, I have, this is a, this is a, a document I have created, which will be there for hundreds of years, and that is nobody can wipe out. Even if they kill me. Uh, this will be there, and you know, and uh, um, um, and as uh, the anchor said, uh, sir said that uh, I am confronting with the Yogi ji and Modi ji. That is n not right. Okay, uh, I don't, I don't. I I fight for the justice of children. You know, I I I, I fight for those. 83 families who are still waiting, even after eight years. Even if after eight years of that tragedy, is still waiting for the justice. They st they lost their kid, and I have seen I have seen in from my eyes dying them in front of me just because the government didn't pay 68 lakh rupees to the supplier. K kids died because and I no no inquiry, nothing happened to those responsible people because why? Because all of them belongs to. Dalit, Muslims, all of them belong to poor socio-economic status. All were from poor family. That they can't go to court, they can't go to you know uh, anywhere. They lost their child. A mother, I believe, I believe, I believe, for a mother, a, you know, uh, for a mother, a child is like a, their part. As you cut your finger, na, you have a pain. That much pain mother can feel. Uh, you know, even I'm a father, I, I have kids, but I don't, I know sometimes my kid fall and the bleeding and all, I'll say, okay, fine, put this and that. I, I don't have that much pain, but mother is, the heart is totally different. She, and those mother, I, you know, the, some somebody has baby after 13 years, somebody has, you know, um, uh, the only baby, somebody has only only boy after four girls, somebody has after only girl after four boys, they all died. Because we are living in an insensitive society where politicians play a tool, you know, 
and public has a very bad memory. When this incident happened, they made me hero, Masiha, Farishta, and all those uh, uh, you know uh, tag they have given. And when uh, the the UP government sent me behind the bar, uh, they forgot about the kids. Even after eight years, if they talk about the BRD oxygen tragedy, they talk about Dr. Kafi. They don't talk about the 83 families who are still waiting, are still crying. So I I dedicated this book to those mother. Okay. Uh, so they said, don't don't talk, don't don't. So I wrote that this book, and this book was released in 2021, and I I launched in each state uh, and state capital. I went by myself and I launched it. That is in 2021. Jawan movie came in 2023. You know, in that movie they have taken six chapters from this book, and they, you know, they, um, I I didn't know that movie is coming, and uh, they have changed the character, and uh, but uh, they showed the whole episode uh, what I have written. But FIR is filed in against me. One 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 person went to get medicine for his mother in the night and he saw four people walking behind the one uh, shop or kiosk you say small shop pan shop cigarette shop some four muslim people i don't know how he recognized all four were muslim okay so he said that i saw four muslim people were talking and they are talking about dr kafil uh, that dr kafil has written a secret book and he's distributing against uh, in his community secretly so that yogi government could go and in 2024 the hindu twaraswadi ras sarkar should not come that's the allegation in the fir it's not a joke and justice uh, has gone but i think uh, if he would have uh, listened that so that's the fir and they filed case against me waging a war against the nation for the film I have no contribution, like 1500 crore Shahrukh Khan has earned, I have not earned, I, but I have to pay, uh, um, you know, lawyer's fees, you know, so, uh, so I was just telling how much uh, we love each other. Um, so, uh, now next thing, uh, I want to finish with the um, Tamilian people and Tamil uh, culture. Uh, I stayed here for one year. In 2022, it was very difficult to stay there. I left my family uh, because uh, um, after they terminated me, even though High Court and Supreme Court has given me clean sheet, they terminated me from my job. Uh, I'm still fighting that case to get my job back. Uh, so you have to uh, earn livelihood. Like, like there will be electricity bill, there will be school fees, there will be you know other expenses, household expenses. So you have to earn. So I came. Uh, so where I should go? So um, I have finished my MBBS MD from Karnataka. So I, but Karnataka that time it was not Congress government. Uh, some other government was there. So so um, I uh, they said Tamil Nadu is better and go there and. Uh, when I came, I, uh, I, I got opportunity in Chennai also, but uh, I thought like I should stay from the city a little far, so that away from the limelight and media and all. So I stayed in Thirivalur, Indira Medical College and Hospital, as a, and work as an associate professor for one year. And I'm telling you, in one year, <coughs> in one year, I have not been recognized as a Muslim doctor. It was, it was, it was always Dr. Kafil Khan, pediatrician, Makulu, uh, you know, uh, Korendai doctor. Korendai doctor. Um, doctor, yes, Korendai. So, so they always say, they never, even my colleagues and the staff, nursing staff, nurses and all, they came to know after maybe four to six months that I am a Muslim. If, with the surname also, they... They never, I, I just want to say, they never discriminate. That's the uh, difference I got here, that even though I, I, I saw in Tamil Nadu, the people are more religious. 
every day they make that uh, kolam outside the house and every day they go to like even though they, the kids are going to school or uh, they're going to office and they're going to work they have a small temple at a, a house also and they pray before going you know so every day they pray every day they make a kolam every day they have some religious ritual but they don't discriminate people on the basis of <laughs> on the basis of what you are wearing, what you are eating, and what you are preaching. They don't. In Indra Medical College mess, there will, they will serve chicken biryani and veg biryani, and all the students, they sit and eat together. But you, you can't imagine that in North India. There will be a fight, OK? A, a vegetarian, how can somebody sit with the non-vegetarian? So that's Tamil Nadu. That's uh, the love. I got from uh, you people. Thank you. Thank you so much.